What do you think about this unit? Do you think other companies should do similar units? One of the big things, the width, height, length of a Class C. The big problem with that is the cargo carrying capacity. In and out, it's very cool. If you hear music in the background for some reason, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just blasting. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and we're here at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, AKA Tampa Show. Behind us, we have a super popular model <laughs> Sorry, that just guys. came out from Coachman. This is the 2000. 24 Coachman Euro. This is model 25 EU. EU. Very unique motorhome. Coachman's onto something. They're doing something different. I think you're going to see other manufacturers copying because that's what they like to do. But this is a very, very unique motorhome. We figure we want to take you on a full exterior and interior tour. So let's start on the outside. There's a lot of cool features on here. I'll kind of go through it and then read you the specs as we go along. So one of the big things, this is 27 feet in length. So you're getting the width, height, length of a Class C. Class C is normally on the E350 or E450. The big problem with that is the cargo carrying capacity. And we're gonna talk about that as well as the towing capacity, which is a lot more on this unit. So you get the advantages of the smaller compact unit, but with greater capacity. So this is on the F53 chassis. Now this is on the 16,000 pound chassis, but don't be too afraid of that guys, because you're still gonna get a lot of capabilities. Now, full body paint, and you can see it's more aero. I do want to apologize. It's, it's pretty windy out here, so hopefully you're not getting too hopefully much of that. Hopefully it's just wind and not rain. Now, full body paint, your windshield, you see it's slope. So I talked to the rep from Coachman. I asked, one of the things I asked was, what kind of miles per gallon are you? So during their testing, he said they went around 7,000, 8,000 miles. They were getting about 8.5 to 9 miles per gallon. Now, we did another video about our trip, our vlog down here about Nelly. Now, Nelly's your classic, you know, box. We're getting about 6.9. So that can be be a lot of money if you're traveling a lot. Access to the front will be right here. Two latches lockable. This opens up, gives you access to the front. Now again, full body paint. And I do like, it's called a Euro. So it has a lot of like that European feel. In and out. It's very cool. Very plain up front. You have your marker lights, LEDs, of course, fog lights. You got the big grill here. Now this does have the Ford V8, the Godzilla engine. All the specs for that will be below if you want to know about that. Side mounted camera. And now here's, again, the very Euro look. Your Euro style bus mirror is kind of coming on from the top here. Frameless windows to route. You have a little frameless window. A lot of people like to call that the doggy the window. The dog window, yeah. But if you don't have dogs, you could call it the foot window. You could sit know. there and <laughs> look out. Let's just move some of these things here, guys, so you can see. Probably little some kids of... would enjoy it too. They probably would. Again, full body paint frameless windows. Here's a nice option. You draw it awning. Loving the windows. You have the gutters here, okay, which is really nice. Yeah. Let's go to the first bay. Now these are fiberglass doors and you see you have a decent amount of storage in here. Now again, guys, you're getting the size and the feel of the class C, but more capability of the class A. And this is on a gasser, so you're not gonna get that big full pasture storage as you would on a diesel, but it's not priced at that diesel price point. Door with the retractable step. So there's a sticker press here. I'm thinking it like turns on lights, it doesn't. So, it's, <laughs> so you put your thumb here and it makes it easier just to pull, make, that makes sense. Yeah, because a lot of people do try to pull that. You're doing it like this bottom, way, and it, yeah. it's a little harder. So you got your screen window here also. Let's move on to the next bay. You have a small bay here. Here's your Xantrex inverter. Okay, these are pretty thick doors and they're slam latch, so they lock into place nicely. Now you do have the Asdell walls in here and Asdell is a synthetic material. It's never gonna rot, it's never gonna break down. A lot of manufacturers are going to that now. You have your cable hookup here or for your satellite. Two GFI outlets, marker lights, of course. This is your propane exhaust. Dual tires on the back, they're 245, 70, 19 and a half. And you do have the polished out aluminum wheels, which is a nice option. And then here's a couple of other nice options here. Your propane, quick disconnect propane. So if you have your black stone or any other kind of gas grill, you can just connect to there and you can feed off of the house propane. Here is your pull for your, your black tank. Your head just hit the camera. Sorry about that. Pull for the black tank. <laughs> nice. And then you have access over here. This is gonna be your hydraulic storage, fluid storage for your slide. Now moving on to the back. This is a cool 
looking rear cap. Yeah, this is really nice. It's, it's super plain. Like, and we're seeing that but trend it, yeah, this year. But, yeah. A lot of the manufacturers, so it, it goes in trends mm -hmm. and then you'll see everybody, everybody doing it. it. So you used to have the fancy swirls and thing. And then now it's getting more like simple. subdued, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing here. Very simple European look. They come standard with the 8,000 pound tow hitch. So depending on how you load this unit, 7,000 pounds minimum up to 8,000 pounds you can tow, which is much more than what we have. We have 5,000 pounds, which is kind of yeah. terrible. Pretty impressive. 80 gallons fuel, LED lights, camera on the back. This does have one slide, the bedroom slide. They're really close here. It's a here. deep slide Deep too. slide. And you're gonna see that when we go inside. They did the frameless on the slide, which you don't mm -hmm. see often. A lot of times that's framed. And of course you have the slide topper. Here's your 50 amp hookup. So more storage here, guys. Storage there. Let's continue down. Continuing down the driver's side. If you hear music in the background, for some reason they're they're playing standby. I, I don't know what's going on here. We've never heard this before. <laughs> they're just blasting music <laughs> over the PA system. So another side for your park cable satellite input, city water connection, fresh water fills, sewer tank flush it's not located in a dedicated wet bay just so you know that another compartment here guys here's your own in quiet gas 5500 that's nice to have you have access to your propane and then last one your house batteries you have two house batteries on here since they're having the stand by me concert outside <laughs> We came inside just to give you it's some like of the specs. Tortured, playing the same I, I song know, over. Know what it's a good this song, never but, happened yeah. before. So <laughs> wheelbase 178 inches, gross combined weight rating 23,000 pounds. The axle rear 11,000. The LP tank capacity is 85 pounds. Exterior height here's key 11 feet one inch. That's pretty good. Fresh water 50 gallons black 31 Real quick, gallons. No problem getting into gas stations there in, in a lot no, of a lot no. of fuel places. Yep. Gross vehicle weight rating is 16,000 pounds. The Front axle, 6,500 pounds, fuel capacity, 80 gallons. Exterior length is 27.9. Exterior width, 99 inches. So you don't have that wide body. Gray water is 31 gallons and the awning size is 16 feet. So I'm done on the outside, even though we're on the inside. I'm just gonna show this. This is a very, very cool yeah. unit on the inside. So before we do the interior tour, we do wanna thank Matt from Matt's RV Reviews who made this possible. Also, he sponsored this video with Liquefied. And if you don't know what Liquefied is, it is taking the RV industry by storm. It is a black tank treatment, excellent reviews online, and it liquefies everything that's in that black it tank. It does exactly what its name says. It comes in different flavors, I like to say. Don't, Don't drink, drink it. it. You have your orange and your lavender, and they come in liquid or the pods. We have used both. We like the pods. We did a full video yep. review on actually how it worked and mm -hmm. showed like, yeah, stuff is liquid. We'll lick that above. But the best part about it, and this was big for Matt, number one, he's a small business, but developed and created by Century Chemical, in the USA. So this part is 100% in the USA. If you want more information, if you want to purchase it, we're going to put the Amazon link down below. Very cool floor plan, guys. I think you're going to like this. Let's start at the entrance to the Coachman Euro. This is a very cool floor plan, guys. I think you're going to like this. When you walk in, you're going to first have a lot of your controls here. Here's your inverter, you have your awning controls. This is where you're gonna see where your tank levels are. You have your interior lights are controlled right from here. So kind of everything right at the touch of a button. Here's your tank heater as well. I'm gonna switch places with you. We're gonna head into the living space, which is a really good use of space. Walk through the living space into the cockpit. Look how big this is. This is huge. And again, this is not a wide body. No, no. Very, very comfortable Ford chassis here. So you have your integrated controls right here. Your equalizer system is here, your sun visor control. You're going to have your uh, your gen start, your lights, radio, everything right here. Here is a little touch screen for you. And then your, your uh, heating and AC controls. What's good on the opposite side, so we're actually gonna switch, is a lot of times when we're driving, and I know a lot of you probably do this, one person is driving, one person is working. So the person is working, you have a pull-out desk right here, put your computer, you have a USB right there, 12 volt, so you're able to get your work done while you're driving. You also have a USB on the side here and a lot of room to keep accessories, extra keys. You have cup holders here, very, very comfortable cockpit area. Then moving into the living space, you have four seats 
You have a nice large insignia TV right up there. So you have the two seats here. And then this is a jackknife sofa. Very comfortable. I sat in these. It's really nice. This table is an awesome use of space because this pulls out. You can use it as an individual sitting here. You can turn this. You can have four people eating. It's, it serves as a dining table, a workspace. It's a really, really cool concept. And you also have two 110 outlets here. So you can plug in your computer or whatever you need to do. I like the large windows in here. It's bringing in a lot of exterior light. And what also, besides the, the exterior light coming in, you have these awesome LED strips throughout the coach, which give it a really cool, it's a cool feel. It is that European look. Also along the lines of the European look is you have these curved cabinets. I love that European sleek look. A lot of storage space. Too. Yeah. A lot of storage space up there. So continuing with storage, you have a, a large cabinet there. You've got a couple 110 outlets in there that's right over the entry door. And you also have some hidden storage under these seats. So these two pull out, so you have more storage. I do wanna make a note, these are all soft closed drawers in here, which is nice. And then moving into the kitchen area, spacious. Again, what's, very large for the length of this coach. Well, it's under 28 feet. Yeah, it is. You feel very roomy in here. So you have a solid surface countertops. You have a large sink here, residential faucet with a pull down sprayer. So that's really, really nice. You have room back here. If you have a Keurig or you want to keep something else there, that's a great place for it. Beautiful picture window. You can look out as you're preparing your meal. You got a power tower right here with some GFCI outlets, a couple USB ports there more prep space and then you have this two burner induction cooktop what's awesome is this is removable you can take it right outside and cook with it outside which is really really cool then you also have convection microwave right underneath and then a ton of storage space guys i also like this this is kind of like uh this always reminds me of berkshire, berkshire yeah. Yeah, beautiful okay so you have a lot of you know the soft closed drawers with these little latches. So again, during travel, your drawers are not going to be popping open. You have three of those. Look at this. This is really cool. You have a little storage base in here while you're parked. You know, you can keep some items in there. Check this out, guys. You have two. That's awesome. Look at this. So you have a recycling and a regular garbage can and a removable. So you can take this out, whatever you want to keep in there. That is a great, great use of space. So if you can, just stand in the middle with yeah. your, your arms. There's no slides here. When you park at the Cracker Barrel, wherever you're at, this is it. This is what you're yep. going to. This is the living space. The only yep. slot is in that bedroom. Absolutely. And then you also have two large cabinets up above the sink area where you can keep your dishes and things. Plus all that storage underneath. Yep. That's you have awesome. this. You can keep spices or anything else that you want to keep in there. What's really cool, guys, a lot of parts of this coach has a very residential feel. The living space is one of them. You're going to see another one when we get to the bathroom. But this, you have this range cover over here with, you know, you have the time, the fan. It, it feels very homey. I, I really like the feel. And the color scheme too, very simple. Just like we said outside with this simple exterior, you're feeling that in here too. Do you know what's weird to, this again, this is very simple inside and, you know, the horizon, remember? The, the Winnebago? The Winnebago horizon. I loved it because it yeah. looked very much like this inside yeah. and they were doing that, you know, four years ago. Right. All right. So let's go into the fridge. So you have your fridge here. I want GE this fridge. fridge. Yes. Yeah, Izzy really wants that. No, it's very, very cool. That's a 12 volt fridge. Yep. All right. So more storage. Again, small coach, but huge space great use of space this huge deep closet area this is a great place to like stack bins and you can keep a lot of items in there here's a wardrobe area for you so you can keep all your hanging clothes in there again shoes on the bottom would fit great check this out guys a dishwasher you don't see that normally on something that's price point we're going to give you the price point at the end of this video absolutely and on the opposing wall you have another one of these large wardrobe areas so much space so now we're going to head into the bathroom guys and this is what i told you you walk in here you feel like you're in a sticks and bricks all right let's go in right away just the color schemes, the materials that are used, the, just the way it's set up is really homey. So you have a little medicine cabinet area right there on the corner. 
Homie. You remember, anybody remember Living Color? Oh. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a towel ring here. Here's your toilet. It's a, you know, a push so you don't have a pedal flush. And then you have a nice little sink area here. Okay, more storage down the bottom and a couple little shelving areas for you there. Large mirror. So if you like to look at yourself, this will be a good one for you. Glass door shower. Let's get in here and show you the size. So I'm 5'9". So I got, I have some room here. Okay, very simple and basic, but it does the job. You have room here that's built right in for your shampoos and things. Then we have the bedroom area. So you have a king size bed. So there's not a ton of walking area, but guys, a king size bed in here and the bed is on a slide so you're going to step up to get into the bed but again i'm five nine and i'm still not hitting my head there so you have three cabinets right along the top of the bed there's a mini divider in here this is great again to stack those bins and keep items up there if you like you have some lighting above the bed so if you like to read at night that's great another great thing about the shades that they use in here they're not banging around, you know, they're these very, blinds, very, yeah, yeah it's, it's, thank you, blinds. That's, it's a great type where you're not gonna hear them. A lot of RVs have, as you're moving, you're hearing those things slap against the windows. This is a really good choice of blinds there. Then you have your TV for the bedroom here, which is an Insignia TV. It's a really cozy bedroom, guys. And again, all the way through the coach, you have that strip LED lighting, which just lights up this coach so nice. A Couple other things we wanna talk about before we give you the price of this. The cargo carrying capacity, two thousand pounds that's why i said depending on your towing mm -hmm. could be seven thousand minimum up to eight thousand yeah. pounds which is pretty awesome no carpet always nope. a plus and then the vents are up they're not in the floor mm -hmm. so if you have pets and i can get all the hair in there which is pretty awesome so let's give you the msrp price all right so the msrp is two hundred nineteen thousand four hundred thirty nine dollars and the show price is one hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars now as you know show price is always negotiable mm -hmm. this is being put at the show by General RV. Matt from Matt's RV Reviews also did a detailed review of this. And if you want more information, contact him because mm -hmm. General has yep. these in stock. In the comments below, guys, let us know what do you think about this unit? Do you think other companies should do similar units? I think this is gonna be popular. Do you like the European style? I know we do. It's yeah, very it's sleek, nice. very cool looking. If you like videos like this to the left of us, we put our RV Tours playlist, we put our RV Newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.